Jennifer and welcome back to my channel. I know lately I have been doing a ton of like tutorial type looks on my channel, especially because like Halloween came. So anyway, I wanted to do a palette review for you guys today. I have not done one I feel like for a little while. The palette I will be reviewing today is the Juicy Boost palette from Colored Rain. Their Vivid Pigments palette is my all-time favorite like colorful matte eyeshadow palette, so I have high hopes for this. I think this has been around now for a couple of months. I actually ordered it when it first came out intending to do this review right away, but then I was filming ahead for Halloween and I just like did not get to it until now. Per usual, I will be doing some swatches and then trying them on my eyes so you can see how the payoff is on swatches versus on my eyes. So without further ado, let's get started. This is what the eyeshadow palette looks like. They have two versions of this palette. Mine opens up like a book where you have two different layers of eyeshadows. They also sell a version where it's all on one layer like your traditional eyeshadow palette. This looks pretty cool so that's why I bought this version. They're both the same price. So as I'm swatching these for you, I'm just going to tell you a little bit about the palette. So first of all, Colored Rain is a black owned makeup brand. So that is a bonus if you're looking for a black owned makeup brand to support. There are 18 eyeshadow colors in here and they are all matte except for three of them. They generally formulate their matte formulas really well and I really enjoy using their matte colors. This palette retails directly on their website for $52 and in this collection they also have a couple of cute things like a tumbler and an umbrella. I really like the color selection in here. I like that there are some colors that are more of the light pastel color and then others that are more vivid, vibrant, and dark. Okay, so that is all 18 colors swatched. Here on the first face, the three shimmer glitter type colors swatched really well. The lighter colors didn't swatch quite as well, but traditionally pastels and really light colors like this don't swatch that well. I'm actually really impressed with how the white showed up. This, the second side of the palette where it is more vibrant, the color payoff is phenomenal. Some did swatch better than others. Some, as I was rubbing, the eyeshadows did feel a little ch more chalky than others. But in my experience, how they perform in a swatch, especially mattes, are not generally how they could perform on the eyes. So let's just try them. First, I'm just going to use the white eyeshadow that is in the palette and pat it all over my eyelid. Because there are so many colors, I think I'm actually going to do a different eye look on each side so I can use more of them. On the right side, I'm going to be using the greens, I think, patting this mint color into my crease. In the palette, there's a little bit of fallout, but there's not fallout on my eyes. And on the left side, I'm gonna take this orange carrot color and pop that into my crease. Next, I'm just gonna buff out these colors up towards my eyebrows. On the green side, I'm gonna use this light green cucumber avocado color, and on the orange side, this yellow ginger bay color. I'm just gonna go back in with the same two colors on both sides and really build them up and blend up towards my eyebrows. Next, to darken up my outer corners of my eyes, I'm going to take this dark green Kale Yeah color on the green side and the Sweet Potato Mango, which is a brown color on the orange side. Both the brown and the dark green had quite a bit of like fluff fallout out of the palette, but on my face, still no fallout. Notice that I actually did my foundation before doing the eyes for this one because I was so confident in Colored Rain that they would not give me any fallout. And so far I've been right. Next, I'm gonna just quickly take a concealer and cut my crease. That way I can layer some of these shimmer colors on. So I know how the shimmers perform as swatches, but I'm gonna see how they perform using a brush. On both my eyes, I'm going to be using the gold shimmery color on the inner thirds of my cut crease, and then towards the middle on the green side, I'm gonna go ahead and use the blue, and on the orange side, I'm gonna use the pink, just so I can use them all. So I just wanted to bring you guys close to see how beautifully the mattes blended and then how the different glitters have gone on my eyes. It feels like the gold and the blue are the same formula and they blended very beautifully into each other. They are so shimmery and performed beautifully even with a brush. 
The pink is a thicker glitter. It's a chunkier glitter, and so it is a little bit harder to work with, but I feel like it still showed up pretty well. So next I'm taking a combination of the matte colors that I was using on the tops of my eyelids and using those and smoking out my lower lash line. Okay, so let me just pop on some lashes, finish the rest of my face, and then I will be back with my final opinions. Okay, so that is it. I finished up the rest of my face. I kept it pretty simple so that you could really focus on my eyeshadow. I absolutely love how this palette turned out. Because I have hooded eyelids, I have like two really solid crease lines that fold over when I open my eyes. And normally, given this amount of time, I would have already seen the creases really obviously in shimmers and glitters. The combination of the P. Louise face and the shimmer glitter here, they have not creased and I am so impressed. The mattes blended absolutely beautifully. I mean, I had high expectations for this palette, but some of them when I was swatching were like a little sus, but we made it work. The shadows were pigmented, they were vibrant, there was no fallout. I do wish though that I would have gotten this in like the bigger palette where it was all on one layer because as I was trying to go back and forth between the orange and the yellow here on this eye, it was annoying to have to like keep flipping back and forth, but it's just so minor. I hope you have enjoyed this swatch review try on video. I'm so glad it turned out well. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope to see you next time. Bye!